animation here that we just made in Quill, and we want to take this to Unreal. First of all, if you want to export animation from Quill, you need to export it as a Lemby. So this is one of the first things you need to understand. Uh, if you go to export, uh, Alembic is going to be the how you export animations into the engine. So in which case you will, you know, choose either to export in elements or in separate layers or to export all together. Well, that's going to be your decision. I don't know yet what I'm going to do in the engine, but I want to have the option to have it separately. So I will keep that one separately. I will also keep this one. It's going to be the ground, uh, the splash, the back. Honestly, I could you know we could the back is gonna you know it's the backpack here it's part of the character so i mean i don't see why i should send this separately so i'm gonna um merge it so let's do first one thing let's merge uh, the character with the backpack so there's a important thing here that if you're gonna merge two different layers that already have keyframes you need to be careful uh, in order to merge them, ideally, you should try to match, you know, the same uh, um, keyframes, uh, the same amount of keyframes, the same placement of keyframes uh, between both of the elements that you're gonna, you know, that they're gonna merge. In this case, both are, you know, have the same duration, both are having the same kind of a keyframe, you know, separation. Uh, so they're gonna blend perfectly. So if I just go, you know, on the first one and merge down They're gonna merge perfectly and I'm gonna have everything now all together So remember always when you're gonna sync or sorry when you're gonna merge two of these layers Make sure they match. So Now that I have my layers here. What I'm gonna do is basically since I'm gonna export animation. I'm gonna go um, You know, I'm gonna go for the character first and this is important guys, I mean, I always make sure that I have something, some information on the first frame. Because as you can see in the character, I have information on the first frame. But in the splash, I don't have information on the first frame. And this is gonna give you a hard... It's not a, it's not a problem, but it's gonna be a, an, one more step for you to be able to sync everything later on. So, I'm gonna export my character, so I'm gonna go to the export. I'm gonna, you know, change to Alembic. I'm gonna make sure I export the mesh animation. Uh, you can put export UVs if you have, and then you can you can leave it in linear. So this is gonna be you know of course you put the you know character. I'm gonna send there and export. So I exported my character, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the stone. Uh, same thing, export. Now, watch here, because as, as I told you before, in the splash layer, I don't have a first keyframe with inf I mean, I don't have a first frame with, with information, with a keyframe information. So what I'm going to do is, I just paint something really small. So I don't, I know this is going to be, um, this is splash too, right? So I'm going to paint something that is going to be below the ground. So I'm not going to be able to see it. Make sure you're on the first frame, of course. So, you know, I paint this little dot. And I create information and that's all I need it's just to make sure that I have some kind of a Q star at the same you know the same start as the rest so when I bring everything together to the engine everything will start at the same at the same moment one important thing this is important guys. one important thing is that when you're exporting make sure that I'm gonna export everything again just to make sure when you're exporting just and select and you know hide everything else but the layer you want to export. So I'm gonna go again because uh, you know if you have the different layers turned on, it might explore everything to you know all together, and that's not what we want. So this one is exported. I'm gonna hide it now. I'm gonna export the stone. Okay, so now I have everything exported, and we will take take all this uh, into the engine and import it. 